What's up everybody? It's your boy, Mario, Home Slice 794 Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sound slash audio test of the Nessie Blue Microphone. Uh, basically, I just wanted to show you guys all the different sounds, the, the settings for this microphone. It's paid $70 for it on Amazon. And I also wanted to do an additional setting, one with with the built-in pop uh, filter, because this mic does come with a built-in pop filter. And I wanted to do a, a little sound test with an additional pop filter. So if you don't know what a pop filter is, it's like a the fil it's like a filter. It looks like a pantyhose that's around the microphone to help prevent you know those p words from like breaking up the mic and it sounds kind of ugly like powerful um playhouse put you know those kind of words it breaks up and uh this mic's supposed to already have one built in so uh let's get into the sound test the first whole minute that i've been talking in it has uh it's been in raw mode and this mic comes with three different settings comes in raw mode voice mode and um music mode and so the raw mode it has no no filters to it no no uh equalizers to it it's just what you say is what you get it picks up background noise but it's pure sound the second feature i'm going to be switching to it right now is the voice mode and if you can already tell instantly it lowers the pitch it uh it makes your voice deeper it's good for people who are doing commentaries, uh, voiceovers, podcasts, interviews, things like that. This is what the mic says it recommends. But uh, if you already have a deep voice, I think it's going to sound a little bit too bassy, but it really depends on your voice and your taste. Okay. So this is the middle feature. Once again, is the voice setting. And I am not using an additional pop filter. Now, Let's go to the music setting. My personal favorite right now, we're at the music setting. And as you can tell already, it already sounds clear, sounds crisper. Uh, you know, that's what just with my voice. It may be different for others, but uh, instantly, you know, it's supposed to be able to pick up a lot of, a little bit more background noise than the voice setting. But this one's gonna be able, so you can play your guitar in front of the mic and it'll pick up the guitar still. Uh, you know, you play your ukulele, your flute, or whatever. It's still going to be able to pick up the sound of that, but not so much more of the other background noise, like your ceiling fan. It's going to try to wash that out. Um, but that's about it. Also, I this is without the pop filter, okay? The additional pop filter. This is with the built-in pop filter. So, so far in this whole video, I'm just talking with the regular mic that you pay for. So if you think it sounds good and those P words don't really like bother you like the power and pop filter, I'm going to add a pop filter right now. All right, guys. So now I'm talking through a pop filter, an additional one. This one was eight bucks. I paid uh, eight bucks free shipping on Amazon. And as you can see, power, 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 pop, pop, pop filter. Some people can't really tell a difference. And, you know, regular, the average consumer may be, be not be able to tell a difference. But, uh, you know, those serious audio file guys, those serious audio heads, it may bug them. You may want to invest in a little $8 pop filter. Uh, power, 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 pop, 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 uh, explosion, uh, pop, 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 pur, pur. You know, uh, some people may want one. But uh, overall, uh, it's a great mic. I love it. 70 bucks. Well worth it. If you do a lot of uh, voicing, voiceovers, uh, podcasts, things like that. I think it's an amazing mic. But remember, most importantly, guys, when you if you get this mic, make sure you hook it up through USB 2.0. If you don't, you're going to get a lot of issues. Like if you hook it up through USB 3.0, it, it's going to give you issues. It's going to give you a delay. The sound of the mic is going to sound weird. The volume of it is going to be inconsistent. Just hook it up to USB 2.0. I did research, and this is what you want to do. Okay? Uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, the last the last half of the video, I've been, I've been using the music mode with a pop filter. 
But uh, that's about it, guys. Hope you liked it. I wanted to do a thorough review. Uh, make sure you, you're spending your money on the right item that you want. Okay, so if you want to get a better idea, put it in HD. Run back through all the settings, and you'll get a crisp, crystal clear. I didn't really do much encoding to this video because I want it to be like straight up audio. Okay, all right. I'm going to stop talking. Keep running through the, uh, the sound test. See if you like this mic. I personally do. But uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Remember, if you get this mic, USB 2.0, it's important, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, y'all take care. Bye.